everybody, I'm Tony Fleming. Thank you for joining me at Fleming's Ultimate Garage on what I see as a future collector car. So here's what I'm talking about. We missed out on the Boss 9s and maybe some quad uh, this or dual uh, Ram that or whatever some big block, multiple carbureted, ultra rare cars were in the past. Maybe we missed out on those. But there are cars today that I see potentially could be the next future collector car. And this is one of those cars right here. Limited production, low mileage, factory race car, right? all wrapped up in a package like this. This is exactly how you want to get them, man. You want to get them while they're priced like this, while they continue to go up in value. And if they're building new ones, the new ones are significantly more money, so they're dragging these up with them. These are great buys. They may be the best buy that we have here, right? So many small features on these cars, the Boss 302s, that's so different than say a GT500 or regular Mustang GT Premium. We got to spend a minute, we got to talk about it, we're going to show you maybe a couple of things you might not have even known and then maybe we'll find a way to help you get this in your garage. All right, to go racing on Sundays or Saturdays, whatever it mean, uh, you had to build these and sell them to the public. And that's what we have here. This is a factory race car. Why do I say that? Let's look at the splitter down here uh, for the front spoiler. No regular street car would ever offer something like that, right? Look how low it is. It's adjustable. Look how much air we can get in to cool the engine, cool that in. Fresh air ducts for the intake manifold, right? And then you have this uh, lightweight composite hood versus metal. said that great color the color is fabulous man i love this color and you know what a little bit of a throwback to the original boss 302 it has a reflective stripe on it so at night you're going to see a whole different color of uh of this turn from black to like a, a gold flake and things like that is super cool as you're going down the road wheel and tire combination right this is uh wrapped around some big wheels and tires and some giant brembos wrapped in there too if this car can't stop it can't go right doesn't matter how much horsepower you have, if you can't stop it, uh, it's not going to help you. Here we have some big Brembos wrapped in there, and that's why these rims are so big as well, and uh, wrapped up in 19s all the way around. So we said about this right here, and then there, here's a nice touch that maybe a lot of people don't know about, and this has a side exit exhaust from the factory. All Boss 302s have it right here, and you have, there's a valve inside. Uh, you can buy different uh, pieces in there to, to, to determine how much exhaust you want to come out here and how much you want to come out the back and change that if you want to. And it's a super easy fix and it's so much fun to make the sound. But you can see that somebody loved this car a lot because they have these tiny little mud flaps. I don't love the look of mud flaps. However, they're so minor that they've done and they've saved this whole side of this car from rock chips and things like that. And hence the low miles. Somebody loved it. They took care of it. And these are good, good signs. All right, so this is one of those cars I feel like when you look at from behind, you know what it is. The styling of a Mustang. This is taillights from the 60s, man. Look at this, 60s, early 70s. It looks just like it. This wing, you need to have this wing. This is a fast, fast car, has a high top speed. We need to keep it planted on the ground to keep the air from underneath from doing this to the car. This has the Ford Racing exhaust on it, which is, sta which is stamped right on there. And then uh, in here, believe it or not, uh, there is usable room. I wanted you to, sh to show this because this is a race car you could drive to work if you wanted to or drive to the beach. Look how much room is in here. You could actually get inside this trunk, right? And lay down if you wanted to, hence why they put this in here. That's a safety in case somebody crawled in and needed to get out. But another small piece that a lot of people don't know and don't see is these VIN stickers are important. Why are these little stickers important? Because these are the serial numbers of the car. This is security guard right here so that if people were to steal these parts and try to sell them, they could track them back to here. It stops the theft of that happening, if there's, if, especially if thieves see that they're marked and they're covered up. But I love the back end of this car. All right, so listen, uh, the outside of the car as you walk up to it is, is amazing. We already saw that, we love that, right? Let's get in here where you're gonna spend some time because this right here, this right here is a race car cockpit. You say, but Tone, how is that a possible race car cockpit? It's in a Mustang, huh, let's start with this. Recaro seats, upgrade, that's a factory upgrade here. Stitched in here, Boss 302, it says uh, Recaro on them. There's airbags built into the side of these things. These are expensive, expensive seats, right? 
Boss 302 stuff on the mats, call it on the dash. This has the engine turn dash, which is different than a standard Mustang GT. 180 mile an hour speedometer, 9,000 RPM tack. These motors rev way more than the standard uh, GT motor and way more than uh, the GT500 motor for sure, right? Uh, and then they also sell, if you want, a supercharger upgrade for this for another 200 plus horsepower to give you 650, but you don't need all that. You got this six speed shifter ball. This motor winds up so nice, makes so much power, right? And you have a great cockpit right here. The wheel feels good. It's an Alcantara steering wheel as well. Uh, and the blend of all of this in here with, with creature comforts too, climate control, uh, power windows, power locks, power mirrors, all of that good stuff, killer audio system, makes for a great, great car, especially if you wanna to go to a car show. All right, so we close up the video here. We're talking about a low production figure of these gotta have it green Boss 302s, a low mileage car to begin with, beautifully taken care of, high options, real deal factory race car, right? This is it, man. If you've never driven one, don't let anybody, read the reports that are out there. The people that have done good ones like Motor Trend or somebody Car and Driver, uh, have done real deal reports on these cars and, and lap them around tracks and they will tell you there is no better handling, better driving Mustang ever built, ever built than the Boss 302. Anyway, call us 301. 816-1000 will tell you all about this Boss 302 and find a way to get it in your garage. All right, so we're taking it down on the home stretch back to the place where you're gonna pick up your car or we're gonna ship it to you. And look at this, it's just so easy to drive. Listen to the sound. driving it fast this is your car I wouldn't do that to you just wanted you to know that when you get it it can at least do this